Hey, welcome back guys. In this one, we are going to go ahead and set up a React Native project structure that will enable us to build our app faster and also make sure we know where to find what files. Now, first off, I want to first close some simulators just so that I can have a better way to develop because these are actually like taking a lot of memory on my device right now. So I'm going to close the simulator. So since I know most of us are going to be on Android, I'm going to be focusing mostly on Android. So I'm going to close the simulator. Okay, so since you're going to be having a lot of JavaScript files, components, things to do with state, things to do with validations, then we're going to need to create a source folder in here. So I'm going to go to the root of the project and then I'm going to create a folder called SRC. And this is where all our JavaScript files will go. So inside source, I'm going to create another folder called assets. So this folder is going to contain things like images, fonts, the themes for the app, that kind of thing. So actually I'm going to go ahead and create them. So this is going to be images, should be in assets, move there. Then here, I'm going to create a new one, call it fonts. Then I'm going to create another one. It's going to be the theme. And we'll be coming back to these as we go. So let's corrupt that one for now. Now, else we'll also create a folder called components. 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 So this is where we'll have all our reusable parts of the app. So things like buttons, inputs will be inside the components. So we'll also have another folder to contain our constants. So in the constants here, we will be having our constants basically. So if you have things that we need to reuse, we can put them in constants. So also we'll have a folder called screens. So new folder called screens. So in screens, we can basically have a screen. If you think of it, if you think of registration, if we think of login, those can be screens. Now those, of course, screens will be made up of logic and then they're gonna be hooked up to like components. Okay, so let's have screens in there. Now also I'm gonna create a folder for config. So create a folder here, config. So in here we can save things like, let's say we have environment variables, we can bring them in here and then the app can be getting them from the config. If we have different environments, then everything can be in config. Then now I'm also going to create a folder called context. So context here will have like our global state management. Now I'm gonna create some few folders in here. So don't worry mostly about them. We are gonna be learning mostly about them as we go. One is going to be called reducers. Then I'm going to create another one here. It's going to be called initial states. Initial states. Then I'm going to create another one. It's going to be actions. We'll go through the terminology again, but for now, let's first create them. Then we'll explain them as we need them. So new file. So I'm also going to create a file here called provider. So I'm going to call it provider.js. So for now, it's going to be empty. In fact, I can just export default, default function. It's going to be function. Then it's going to be returning null for now. But we'll come back to this later. All right. So now that we have this, then we are going to create another folder for our navigation. So new folder, I'm going to call it navigation, navigations. Also, I'm going to have another folder for helpers. So since you're going to be working with things like Firebase, things like Axios, and we need to reuse some of the configs, then we can put those in helpers. So also I'm going to create one for utilities. So new folder utils. So in utils, we can have like validation utilities, uh, like functions that maybe trim a name, trim some spaces of a name, those kind of things. All right, so this is looking good to me. Then I'm gonna create a .m file. So if you have like environment variables, we can put them in there. And then we want to make sure that uh, this is not added to version control. So I'm gonna go to our git ignore file. This one is created actually by when you create the project. And I believe we should have .m here, but if we don't, then please stick it in there. Make sure I have a new line at the end of the form of the file. It's conventional to have. Okay, so now this folder structure is going to be able to do it for us. So in the next video, I'm going to come in and we are going to now work in the navigation directory. So thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.